In 1521, two worlds collided in a way that would change history forever. The fall of the Aztec Empire marked the meeting of Spanish explorers and indigenous civilizations. Two powerful cultures with vastly different traditions, beliefs, and ways of life. As alliances were formed and societies intertwined, a new identity began to emerge, a blending of indigenous and European heritage. This was not just a merging of bloodlines, but of cultures, languages, and traditions, giving rise to the mestizo, the foundation of modern Mexican identity. In Mexico, mestizo originally referred to people with one Spanish parent and one indigenous parent. Over time, it came to describe anyone of mixed European and indigenous ancestry. Today, it's a broad term tied to culture, identity, or ancestry, with estimates of mestizos in Mexico ranging from 40% to over 90%, depending on the criteria used. Surveys show around 58 to 70% of Mexicans identify as mestizo, while some prefer labels like white, indigenous, or just Mexican. After independence, mestizo became more about national identity than race, especially after the Mexican Revolution. The government promoted the idea that Mexico is a mestizo nation, aiming to unify people by erasing racial distinctions, and by 1930, census categories besides indigenous disappeared. Everyone who didn't speak an indigenous language was considered mestizo, making it a symbol of Mexican unity rather than just a racial term. Mexico's mestizo population includes people of many appearances, from predominantly European to predominantly indigenous ancestry. Since mestizo can mean different things, culturally, racially, economically or genetically, estimates of their numbers vary widely. The Encyclopedia Britannica, based on the 1921 census, says mestizos make up about half to two-thirds of Mexicans. Today, mestizo can mean anyone who identifies as culturally Mexican but isn't indigenous, regardless of their racial background. However, the term fell out of everyday use long ago because it was once seen as insulting. Some researchers argue that mestizo ideology hides Mexico's real ethnic diversity and even promotes racism by ignoring distinct cultures. The concept dates back to colonial times, where detailed caste systems categorized people by racial mixes like Castizo, Mulatto or Zambo. By the late 18th century, church records began using mestizo specifically for people with one Spanish and one indigenous parent. After independence, the caste system was abolished, but academics lumped all these groups into the mestizo category, creating a unified but oversimplified identity. Some historians argue that the caste system in New Spain might be a myth created by modern scholars. Pilar Gonzalbo, in her study The Trap of the Caste, claims society wasn't strictly organized by race or enforced by power, while others say the idea of racial stratification was exaggerated in the 20th century by influential historians like Angel Rosenblatt and Gonzalo Aguirre Beltran. Politicians and academics like José Vasconcelos and Manuel Gamio pushed the idea that mestizos, as a mix of all races, embodied the best traits of each group and could lead Mexico to prosperity. Government policies aimed to help indigenous people by assimilating them into mestizo culture, effectively erasing their distinct identities to solve what was called the Indian problem. The concept of mestizo in Mexico has recently faced criticism for oversimplifying racial dynamics and claiming racism doesn't exist because everyone is mestizo. Critics argue that acknowledging racial diversity and adopting a multicultural identity instead of a monolithic mestizo identity could benefit Mexican society. Some say the ideology aimed to whiten indigenous peoples 
rather than promote equality, erasing smaller ethnic groups like Afro-Mexicans in the process. Internationally, Mestizo still describes people of mixed indigenous and European ancestry, but in Mexico, it has a different meaning. For example, rejecting indigenous culture or language might classify someone as Mestizo, while adopting indigenous culture or language might classify someone as indigenous, regardless of ancestry. Regional variations exist too, like Mestizo, referring to Maya-speaking communities in Yucatan, or Ladino in Chiapas. Most people identified as Mestizo in studies would self-identify as simply Mexican. Genetic studies show Mestizos generally have mixed European and Native American ancestry, with some groups closer genetically to Europeans, depending on the region. For example, studies show populations in Veracruz, classified as indigenous, based on language, may have more European genetic ancestry than populations labelled Mestizo in other areas like Jalisco or Durango. The genetic ancestry of Mestizo Mexicans varies depending on the study's methods, sample size and criteria. Older studies often found a stronger European influence, while newer ones typically show a higher Native American component. Regional differences are clear. Native American ancestry is more dominant in central and southern Mexico, while European ancestry is higher in northern regions. Wealth and appearance also play a role, as some mestizos identifying as white often have visible European traits but still carry native ancestry. Genetic studies show wide variation even within the same areas. For example, in Monterey, European ancestry ranges from 38% to 78%, while in Mexico City, it varies from 21% to 70%. These differences may reflect the socioeconomic status of participants or how researchers define mestizo. Some studies focus only on self-identified mestizos, like a 2009 study by Inmegen that reported 93% of Mexicans as mestizo. Others include all Mexicans regardless of racial labels, leading to higher reported European ancestry. Overall, the results highlight Mexico's complex genetic diversity, influenced by regional, cultural and methodological factors, making it challenging to generalize findings across the population. Southern Mexico has the highest Native American and African genetic contributions. A 2006 study by Inmigan analyzing six states found an average mestizo composition of 59% European, 35% Amerindian, called Asian in the study, and 5% other ancestry with regional differences. Light-skinned mestizos dominate in Sonora, while central states like Guanajuato and Zacatecas show a more balanced mix of indigenous and European ancestry. African and Asian ancestry are most prominent in Guerrero and Veracruz. Other research indicates that newer samples increasingly show Native American ancestry as the dominant component, reflecting Mexico's diverse and evolving genetic landscape. In 2014, researchers Francisco Salzano and Monica Sanz reviewed around 20 prior studies and concluded that the average Mexican is genetically more Native American than European. A meta-analysis conducted in 2015 expanded on this, reporting an average genetic composition of 62% Native American, 32% European and 6% African. A University College London study in 2016, focusing mainly on southern Mexico, estimated the genetic makeup of Mexican mestizos as 60% Native American, 36% European and 4% African. It also analyzed phenotypical traits, noting that 18.5% of Mexicans had blonde hair and 28.5% had light-colored eyes suggesting a disconnect between genetic ancestry and physical traits, 
possibly due to the low African genetic contribution compared to countries like Brazil and Colombia. Genetic studies indicate that socio-economic status in Mexico correlates with ancestry, with higher European admixture linked to higher socio-economic status and greater Native American ancestry associated with lower socio-economic status. For example, a study of low-income mestizos in Mexico City found an admixture of 59% Native American, 35% European, and 6% African. In contrast, a 1978 report suggested mestizos with higher socioeconomic status had about 70% European ancestry, though the data may now be outdated. Why chromosome studies published in 2012 revealed that Mexican mestizos have predominantly European paternal ancestry, 64.9%, followed by Native American, 30.8%, and African, 1.2%. European Y chromosomes were most common in the North and West, 66.7 to 95%, while Native American Y chromosomes were more prominent in Central and Southeastern regions, 37 to 50%. African ancestry was relatively consistent across regions, 2 to 8.8 percent. The study identified haplogroups originating from diverse regions, including Europe, the Americas, Asia, and Africa. Mitochondrial DNA, which traces maternal ancestry, tells a different story. 85 to 90 percent of mestizos in Mexico have Native American maternal ancestry, with smaller contributions from European, 5 to 7 percent, and African 3 to 5 percent lineages. A separate study of Mexico City found an overall 52 percent European ancestry for autosomal DNA, with maternal ancestry being 47 percent European. Overall, these findings underscore Mexico's complex genetic heritage, shaped by both regional diversity and historical patterns of admixture. Please like and subscribe for more such videos. Thanks for watching.